Welcome, I'm Puki, and this is Nala, the Guinness World Record holder for the most popular cat on Instagram. Hi, Nala. Hey, Puki. This is Pickles, and I'm Nathan. You'll notice that we introduced the cats first because, really, we know they're the stars of the show. And that's why you're all here, right? These furry loving kittens and cats that we all care about so much. You're ridiculous. Hi, Pickles, and that's right, Nathan. Thank you all for joining us tonight as we celebrate cats kitchen and the organization that goes above and beyond to advocate for the right for every cat to be safe, healthy, and valued. Stray Cat Alliance. Tonight is about commemorating what Stray Cat Alliance and all of you have created this year and looking for an opportunity of a lifetime to make Los Angeles the benchmark for how felines, especially free roaming ones, should be treated. Along with talking about the success of the year, we would also like to ask you to consider supporting Stray Cat Alliance by participating in our silent auction and our fund in need. But more about that in a few minutes. It's going to be a great evening. Before we begin, let's take a moment to thank the sponsor and donors who helped us host the 21st anniversary Stray Cat Club Gala. We are so thankful for their support for this event and for your generosity over the years. Thank you to all our members of our hosting committee seen here on the screen. And thank you to all our corporate and our foundation sponsors. The Annenberg Foundation, the Diane Warren Foundation, Made by Nacho, Naturally Fresh, I and Love and You, and Warova. and our very good friend, Ivana Lynch, to kick things off. You know her as Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter series of Dream, and she is releasing her memoir, The Opposite of Butterfly Hunting, on October 19. Take it away, Evie. Hello, friends. I am so happy to be here celebrating with you all again this year. I'm Ivana Lynch, and I'm such a big fan of Stray Cat Alliance and their incredible work to save and protect cats, who are our natural born rulers, if we're all being honest. So thank you so much for turning up today to celebrate 21 years of advocacy and saving lives. It's incredible to see how, with your support, Stray Cat Alliance has transformed over the years. When cats needed a voice, Stray Cat Alliance spoke for them. When cats in underserved communities needed help, Stray Cat Alliance filled the gap, providing resources and empowering neighbours to become advocates. When shelters were overwhelmed, Stray Cat Alliance created programmes to help alleviate the burden. Throughout all the changes, Stray Cat Alliance has remained at the forefront of life saving. They are the best ally the cats have. <laughs> Stray Cat Alliance started 21 years ago with a kitten named Chloe. One cat needed care and support where little to none was found. One kitten was the catalyst for hundreds of thousands of cats and kittens being saved over the decades. It's amazing to reflect how much has changed and how much we've grown. We started in garages, we started with phone trees. In 2010, we started our flagship iSpade LA program, which allowed us to be boots on the ground, going into communities and providing resources directly to save lives. In 2015, after learning that 50% of kittens were killed in Los Angeles shelters, the Safe at Home program was born. In 2016, we opened the doors to our first physical location, having a place for cats to recover from surgery and wait for foster improved our life-saving immensely. 
and now we're in a new facility, the former South Los Angeles shelter located in Jefferson Park. No space for the tangible. A facility that used to epitomize a broken system with countless deaths is now a beacon of hope and a place where the overlooked and the underserved are supported and cared for. Over the last 21 years, we've gone from a small guerrilla life-saving organization to one of the nation's largest nonprofits focused solely on felines. We've faced innumerable challenges from lack of services in underserved communities to the Los Angeles TNR injunction, and most recently, the pandemic. We've met every obstacle head on, pivoting as needed to ensure that cats and kittens were never forgotten, never abandoned, and their needs were never ignored. This life-saving mission began 21 years ago with a homeless kitten. Today, we are still going strong, saving more lives than ever before. Every cat is a reminder of a time when cats and kittens were overlooked and is a recommitment to our mission of every cat's right to be safe, healthy, and valued. How lucky the cats are to have Stray Cat Alliance and you in their corner. This latest move to Jefferson Park facility has finally allowed Stray Cat Alliance to open an on-site cat wellness clinic something we've been working towards for years. And wow, what a difference it has made. In 2021, our medical team was enhanced by the addition of veterinarians and RVTs. With your support, we have purchased critical life-saving medical equipment, including surgery tables and x-ray machines. With the funding generously provided by our supporters, better treatment can be provided to our cats and kittens in our care for less money. Overall, the cost to care for a cat has decreased by 24% at a time when veterinary costs have skyrocketed and the waiting lists are long. This is just one small step in Stray Cat Alliance's growth. There's more to be done and more lives to be saved. Consider a donation toward medical treatment for cats and kittens in need during our fund in need. Good evening, everybody. My name is Aaron Leiter and this is Betsy Liley. We are both members, uh, board members with Stray Cat Alliance. And I'm hoping you have been having a fantastic time this evening. We're so fortunate that you've joined us. And now, guess what? The most fun part of the evening, promise. Uh, anyways, we need money. We need money. It takes money to make Stray Cat Alliance work, as it does with any charity. And we need your help this evening. So we're going to have different giving levels. And wherever you feel comfortable while donating something, everything is appreciated. And we're going to go to the first, uh, the first donation level, which is $20,000. And, you know, there's a nationwide shortage of veterinarian staff, long waits for appointments, and it really has underscored the impact of our two-year-old in-house medical clinic. That's right, Stray Cat Alliance has their own in-house clinic now. We are staffed with a on-call veterinarian, an RVT, who is also the clinic manager, another RVT, and four medical care assistants. The clinic is paying off. We're providing more immediate care for our cats and an estimated savings of over $100,000 a year while providing more service for cats. And as you know, the more you have, the more need there is. So the question now is, will you help and donate on the $20,000 level for our medical care, medication, and our vet staff? Betsy, I understand we might have someone who's already made that commitment. We do. I want to say a big thank you to Diane Warren and the Diane Warren Foundation. Diane is one of the biggest advocates in, in LA, in the world for animals and for cats especially. And a big shout out to Rabbit, the newest kitty at the Diane Warren home. Thank you so much, Diane, for all of your care and your love for Stray Cat Alliance. That's amazing. Thank you, Diane, for your continued support. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. I got to go check on pickles.
All right, our next giving level is at $10,000. And this is our Safe at Home program. And it's a program that is amazing in that we've all learned so much from it. South LA residents, they bring in sick and abandoned kittens to the shelter and State, Straight Cat Alliance intercepts them right at that point and tells these people that we can provide them with bottles, food, medical care. And without Stray Cat Alliance, most of these kittens would be euthanized. The shelter doesn't have the ability to care for them. What we've really learned over the last five years is that the residents of almost any, any county or country uh, state, these people wanna take care of the cats and these kittens. They just don't have the means. And by us being able to promise and commit to those means right at the time they're getting ready to give those kittens to the shelter, we've saved their lives. And we've actually really brightened the, the lives of the people who we're gonna to have to bring them in. So it's a $10,000 donation. It's great work. It's also work that's being copied at other, uh, with other uh, rescues. Who can give to us at the $10,000 level? And Betsy, I understand that you might already have a few people. Well, Aaron, we do have some people who have made commitments at the $10,000 level. And what is amazing is that we have more than one. We hope we'll get even more this evening because the reason we're gathered here is obviously to generate more support for Stray Cat and its mission. But I'm pleased to announce that tonight, uh, board member Kay Zygrang has made a $10,000 gift. Sheree Shankar has made a gift. And another board member, Dr. Catherine Ruffner and her husband, Chris Gillies, have made a contribution. So thank you to all of you for those amazing contributions. We're hoping someone else will make a $10,000 contribution. As am I. I do hope more people join. And guess what? I'm happy to say that my partner, Michael Lewis, and I are going to join that amazing group of people and also commit to $10,000 tonight for the Safe at Home program. Please, that, please, if you can, let's have some other people join us. Thank you so much, Aaron. Absolutely. Welcome back. Now, before we begin, I wanted to do something a little special for the kitties that are with us this evening. I hope you were ready for that. With four cats, I'm not sure that I was. But you know what? We're celebrating tonight. And they should get to celebrate, too. There you go. There you go. Street Cat Alliance does so much to serve the cats and kittens, but we know that rescue doesn't work in a vacuum. It takes a village of supporters to impact the lives of thousands of cats each year. We'll be taking moments during tonight's program to honor some of those humans who exemplify what it means to be an advocate for cats. I'd like to introduce Mayor Robert Garcia from Long Beach, California, to present our first award of the evening, the Impact Award presented to Stacy Danes, Director of Long Beach Animal Care Services. Hi, it's Mayor Robert Garcia, and I am really proud to be able to present the Stray Cat Alliance Impact Award to the Director of our Animal Care Bureau, Stacy Danes. Now, Stacy Danes has been an incredible asset to the city of Long Beach uh, and to cats in general. Uh, as a cat person myself, uh, who has one uh, at home, who I love very much, can be a terror, but I, but I love very much, uh, it just means a lot to be able to present Stacy with this award. Uh, Stray Cat Alliance is such an incredible partner for us um, at the shelter and at the department. Um, you guys all do incredible work, and we're just very, very grateful to Stray Cat Alliance, but of course also to Stacy for just her incredible compassion, uh, the way she cares for uh, the neonatal kittens, the way that she just loves and looks out for um, every uh, rescue uh, that comes in and is really committed to ensuring the well-being and healthy safety of all cats. So congratulations, Stacy, and thank you, Straight Cat Alliance. Thank you, Mayor Garcia, for your kind words. I am grateful to you and our city council whose thoughtful and committed vision of saving every healthy and treatable animal has allowed Long Beach Animal Care and me to have tremendous success in saving thousands of lives in Long Beach. Uh, and I'm also very grateful to our city manager, Tom Modica, um, our director of Parks, Recreation and Marine, Brent Dennis, uh, as well as our deputy director of Parks, Recreation and Marine, Stephen Scott. Um, all of these folks have supported our programs and our strategic direction. Uh, and that support has really been the fuel for our forward momentum. Um, it's also really important to me 
uh, to recognize our staff. They are such a uh, committed group of people. Um, we are a tiny but mighty force, uh, the City of Long Beach Animal Care Services staff. And it is they who have touched every animal. They've cared for every stuffy nose, um, every broken bone and broken heart. It is they who day in and day out are putting themselves in harm's way to save lives by protecting pets, reuniting loved ones, um, uh, and they're also helping animals and people find love. Uh, they are an inspiration to me each day, uh, each person at LBAX. Uh, and so I'd like to just leave you with this one thought by Margaret Mead because it is all about the work that we do. Um, and it definitely encapsulates uh, the mission of Stray Cat Alliance um, to create a no-kill nation one stray at a time. And that is to never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you for this award. And I accept it on behalf of our wonderful city and our wonderful staff and our amazing community. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Garcia, and congratulations, Stacy. So often we see rescues and shelters at odds with each other. We love seeing these organizations can come together for the animals because we know more lives are safe when they do. I would like to introduce our good friend, Rachel Croft and her adorable influencer cat, Belarus, to speak about their experience. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Kroll and this is my sweet, sweet little boy, Belarus. We are so excited to be celebrating the Stray Cat Alliance's 21st anniversary with all of you and the kitties. As you can see, Belarus looks a little bit different than normal kitties. And that's because he was born with something called strabismus, which means that his eyes are crossed, but it doesn't impact his health or his ability to see. That said, special cats like Belarus are sometimes overlooked at shelters. And it actually is the case with Belarus as well. He was at the shelter for an entire month before I adopted him from San Francisco Animal Care and Control. I know how lucky Belarus and I are that his stay at the shelter ended with him coming home with me. Cats like him that look different or kittens that need bottle feeding or those with medical issues, we know they're off, they often don't make it out. So thank you, Stray Cat Alliance, for the incredible work you do to save so, so many cats and kittens from shelters. All cats deserve to be cared for, to be healthy and to be loved, and you give shelter cats that chance. And thanks to the wonderful support that the uh, supporters here tonight are for giving their time, their homes, their money, and their love to help Stray Cat Alliance build a no-kill nation, one stray at a time. Here's to 21 years of saving lives and many, many more to come. Thank you. <laughs> you like that? Is it good? Thank you, Rachel and Bolaris. Now it's time for a quick break. Have you had a chance to check out the silent auction yet? Bidding closes at 9 p.m. PST, so there's still time to try and win that trip you've been eyeing. Don't leave the event. We recommend you open another tab to keep listening as you check out the auction items. Our next giving level is $5,000, and this is for adoptions. Stray Cat Alliance adoption program annually matches thousands of cats with their humans. A few years ago, we were doing 10 or more adoptions a week. Then we were doing four or five a day. Now we do 10 to 20 adoptions a day. Can you imagine how many cats that adds up to and how many happy households now get to have a wonderful cat or kitten in their in their household. $5,000, please. Again, you just text below, write down below, and 
please join these other wonderful people that have, have given on the $5,000 level. Betsy, I know there's some people there. Who might they be? We do have some $5,000 contributions that have come in and um, uh, Amber and Adam Tarshis have con contributed at the $5,000 level. David Stiller, a longtime friend of Stray Cat Alliance, has given at the $5,000 level. And Michelle Critarola has given at the $5,000 level. We are so grateful. We know that you love cats and all animals, but we couldn't do it without you. And thank you so much. Uh, if you can give at the $5,000 level, you can give online at the bit.ly link that will take you directly to an online form, or you can give via text on your phone. It just takes less than a minute to give to Stray Cat Alliance during our annual gala. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Betsy. And thank you everyone who's given on this level. So please do consider it. You heard a bit before about how Stray Cat Alliance is partnering with shelters to save lives. A new opportunity is presenting itself this year with the City of Los Angeles Brown breaking citywide cat program. Here to talk about it is Elaine Hendrick, known for her work in Disney's The Parent Trap as Alexis Carrington on the CW's reboot of The Dynasty and for her work in Animal Advocacy. Hello, friends of Stray Cat Alliance. <laughs> I'm Elaine Hendricks. Like you, I am an avid animal rights activist. And like you, I want the great city of angels to become a humane city for all of its residents, especially cats. Perhaps no organization has done more or is better poised to save cat and kitten lives than Stray Cat Alliance. I have worked with Stray Cat Alliance for years, so I know the tremendous effort they take on to advocate for all cats. It hasn't been easy, but there is a light ahead. For 10 years, the stray cats of Los Angeles were held hostage by an injunction against trap, neuter, return. So many cats suffered, but Stray Cat Alliance never gave up the fight. You never gave up the fight. And finally, the city of Los Angeles can again practice and educate the community about the necessity of TNRing community cats. Stray Cat Alliance's best practice programs have made them leaders in life-saving in Los Angeles and beyond. Cats and kittens have a powerful ally in Stray Cat Alliance and in all of you, their supporters. I can't wait to see what else they have in store. For 11 years, an injunction prevented the city of Los Angeles from practicing, promoting, or supporting trap neuter return. For over a decade, Stray Cat Alliance fought for the rights of community cats. And in 2020, the city determined that the best way to control the community cat population was through trap neuter return, what we knew all along. Even trying. Now, in partnership with the city of Los Angeles, we have a monumental, precedent-setting opportunity to implement the Citywide CAP program, which will save thousands of lives and lead the nation and the world in animal welfare. We can show them how it's done. Two of our programs, Safe at Home and Return to Home, formerly known as Return to Field, are evolving under the Citywide CAP program. Through Safe at Home, our staff sits at the shelter and encourages community members to foster kittens they find instead of impounding them. We mentor from bottle feeding to adoptions. Return to Home returns healthy adult cats to their communities who have been impounded at the shelter. Bye, buddy. With the commencement of the Citywide Cat Program, these innovative best practice programs are coming full circle. We love the animals and that's why we were just so desperate to help them. The release is always the best part of it because you're giving the animal back his freedom and you got to be part of the process.
The City of Los Angeles has taken an incredible step to ensure that every cat is safe, healthy, and valued. And Stray Cat Alliance is leading the way. These programs that work directly with communities are paving the way for cities across the nation to change how people live with cats in their neighborhoods. They also allow the opportunity for more cats and kittens to find forever homes. When Stray Cat Alliance began 21 years ago, they didn't anticipate building an adoption program. But as time went on, they encountered more and more cats who belonged off the streets and with a good family. 10 years ago in 2011, Stray Cat Alliance found homes for 28 cats. Last year alone, we adopted out 1,817 cats and kittens. Now, introducing one of our Stray Cat alumni, Slim and Ziggy with Cameron and Milo Mannheim. Hi, all of our friends at Stray Cat Alliance. We are so grateful to you for raising funds and awareness about how every cat in the world deserves a loving and healthy home. We cannot thank you enough for the new additions to our family. This is Slim. Say hi, Slim. Where's Ziggy? And Ziggy's under this table right behind you. If you back up, maybe you can see him. There he is. That little blob under the table. <laughs> anyway, they have now become a part of our family. So much so. Hold on, Slim. I'm going to let you go for a minute. We've had paintings drawn of them. Uh, Ziggy and Slim. And then this is Jeff. Beautiful Jeff. And you think it's the spinning image. Look this the spinning. isn't enough, right? So we had to have another one of Jeff. I'm so <laughs> Jeff, we are diehard cat fans. We have. Uh, Sometimes I say she's a little too much of a cat lady, but whatever. As long as I got these amazing cats running around my house, it's completely fine. How can you be too much of a cat lady? I mean, cats are people too. And we love our cats so much. And we love you for providing a safe shelter for them. Thank you. And for making sure that they are loved and respected and held close to our hearts. So thank you, Stray Cat Alliance. And thank all the people who are watching who donate their time time, donate their money, and get the word out that every cat deserves respect and love, just like we do. And it is our responsibility to make sure that all of our creatures on this earth are loved and taken care of, and you are doing an amazing job. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Jeff, Ziggy, and Slim, thank you too. And so do all the other cats who are in your care. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you all. Peace. Peace. Nala, look how spoiled those cats are. They are almost as spoiled as you. <laughs> Thank you to all the people here who have adopted from Stray Cat Alliance. There's still time to contribute to our adoptions program through our fund and need. Any amount helps. Speaking of our fund and need, Aaron and Bessie, what do you have for us next? Our next level of giving is $2,500. And it's about community cats. And interestingly enough, Stray Cat Alliance was formed on the basis of community cats. And with the citywide cat program, Stray Cat Alliance will be back in the field, literally helping to TNR and save more lives for cats throughout Los Angeles and continue our work elsewhere. Another one of our programs that is being copied by other by other rescue groups. We've had great success with this. And these cats live a much better life on the street and they're taken care of. And these colonies get smaller and smaller each year. And eventually our goal is that there are no more colonies as these cats live out their lives and every single cat finds a home. And we really wish that you could help us with a $2,500 donation this evening. Betsy, do we have anyone yet that's given at that level? Well, I'm pleased to say that my fellow board member, John Pelletier, and I are doing a challenge at the $2,500 level. So we hope that you will join us in giving at the $2,500 level to Stray Cat Tonight, helping community cats and all the cats and kittens that we help at Stray Cat. That's fantastic. That's a great idea. I hope you guys join in with that challenge. So Stray Cat Alliance can't save the lives they do without people adopting the cats and kittens we save. 
We cannot function without our volunteers and our fosters. Volunteers are what makes this organization strong and one of the most effective animal welfare organizations. Stray Cat Alliance is lucky to have 1,128 foster caregivers across the greater Los Angeles and Southern California. We have another 250 volunteers who support life-saving in many other ways, from helping us transport kitties, cleaning, and even helping us put on events like this so we can share our successes. This is the real work of animal rescue, something so many of you know so much about. One of our recent fosters went above and beyond to save the life of one very sweet cat. I'd like to welcome Yo Kim Running as he presents the Stray Cat Alliance Animal Champion Award to Amanda Hurst Running. Hi, my name is Joachim Running uh, and I am here to present the Stray Cat Alliance Animal Champion Award to my wife Amanda Hurst Running. I may be biased but I cannot think of anyone more deserving to receiving this honor. For her entire life, Amanda has surrounded herself with and advocated for animals of every kind. A co-founder of the Wellbeings charity, she was named one of the New York Observer's 20 under 40 philanthropists for her work focusing on animal welfare, environmental protection and conservation, and other human initiatives. Amanda embodies the spirit of the Stray Cat Alliance mission, working to ensure that cats, dogs, all animals are safe, healthy and valued. Amanda, I am humbled by your dedication, your passion and your heart. Congratulations on winning the Stray Cat Alliance Animal Champion Award. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Yoko, and thank you, Stray Cat Alliance. Um, this honor means so much to me. I'm so privileged to work with you guys. Um, my work started with you last year during the pandemic, and um, I fostered four kittens with you uh, that you had rescued, and I fostered them for three months, which which was almost too long. It was very hard for me to, to give them up. Um, but um, I also sponsored a cat with you, a cat named Floyd. And Floyd came from a horrible, horrible abuse case, um, which I can't even get into, except it was just so terrible that I was helping with his medical medical bills. And um, in posting and and talking about his story on Instagram, a friend of mine reached out and said, you know, I'd love to meet Floyd. Um, Floyd had been also coming to my house occasionally. And so she came over with her husband and uh, Floyd, he was missing his tail from the incident and had a, a bum leg and was cross-eyed. And um, well, she and her husband fell in love with the cat and now uh, they live together and they travel together and they have the loveliest life. So. For me, it's been such an honor to work with you, to see those kind of stories, to be a part of those stories, and um, well, nothing. I just hope that we continue working together in the future because it's been such a rewarding experience for me. So, thank you. Thank you, Amanda, for your service to animals. Now it's time for another break. We're we're gonna go feed our cats, but uh, we'll be right back. Pickles. So our next level to ask is for $1,000, and this is for our foster program. In 2020, Stray Cat Alliance volunteers fostered 1,193 cats and kittens. Can you imagine that? Fostering is a critical part of the life-saving work that Stray Cat accomplishes each and every year. So please, if you can, donate $1,000 to allow us to continue forward with this great program. Betsy, do we have anybody at the $1,000 level? We do. Anthony Raboli has, has given us a gift of $1,000. Thank you, Anthony. And we also have a contribution from Mitchell Silverberg and Nup LLP. So thank you so much. Uh, we could use more $1,000 donations. So we hope you'll either text or give online as you see at the bottom of your screen. 
There's like a couple of thousand on the, at our event tonight, right? At least. So uh, let's see how much more we can get. Anything and everything is appreciated. You know, we are honored to be hosting such esteemed guests this evening. And when I say that, I mean all of you. Each person here, through their support of Stray Cat Alliance, has helped save lives. And there's someone special who wants to say thank you. I'd like you to welcome the star of the hit Netflix series, Lucifer, Tom Ellis. Hi, I'm Tom Ellis. Now, my wife, Megan, and I are huge, huge supporters of the Stray Cat Alliance. Uh, we, like many of you watching, realize that cats aren't just animals, they are also a huge part of the family. So we commend all the work that the Stray Cat Alliance does, not only in saving lives, but also in helping create families. Now, I understand that uh, the last year and a half has been difficult for so many people for so many reasons. But when cats were left with no voice um, and no resources, the Stray Cat Alliance stepped up to make sure that none were left behind. But the only way they could have done this was with you. You are the people that helped save these cats' lives. You are the people that made sure these cats were seen and had a voice. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. And thank you mainly for being advocates for cats in need. Here is a message of gratitude featuring the song IOC by Oscar nominated songwriter Diane Warren. Quando tu finisci le parole, sto qui, sto qui. Forse a te ne servono due sole, sto qui, sto qui. In 2020, the world as we knew it changed. In the face of a global pandemic, the cats could have been left behind. But we did not leave them behind. You did not leave them behind. <laughs> Cause I see you And I see too Who you are You can't hide from me I want you we came together to save lives in a time of crisis, and I'm continuously amazed by our success that was only possible because we were supported by you. I'll fix them late tomorrow. Thank you. Stray Cat Alliance was affected by COVID, but we never stopped working to save lives. When shelters closed, we did remote intake. We held adoptions over Zoom, and we launched Kittens to Safety to empower the community to fill the gap the pandemic created in rescue. Cause I see you. Oh, there's, oh look at it, there's some babies. It's I need you to stop for one minute. I want you to know that you're seen. Her son had cancer, and these are his therapy animals. We cannot let anything happen to those cats. I just feel privileged to be able to do this. I'm so grateful. Against the odds, 
We saved more lives than ever before. When we asked for help, so many of you answered the call. We could not have done it without your generosity, your hard work, and your support. Thank you. And I want you to know that you're seen. All right, our next level of giving is at $100. And this is all about transformations. By transformations, every day, every year, Stray Cat Alliance is out on the streets. We're in the shelters. We save thousands of cats and kittens from neglect, suffering, torture, and death. If you can contribute $100 to support us, whether it be the transportation of these cats, getting them into our own personal clinic, or getting them to a vet for more extensive care that they may need, you'd be amazed at how far $100 can go. And each and every single one of these little kittens that you see here, just look at, look at the before and after pictures of them because this is what your work, your volunteer work and your money does at Stray Cat Alliance. And whatever level you're able to give that tonight, let me tell you something, we get checks from, from Mississippi from somebody for $5. And the fact that someone takes that time to make a donation, to put a check in the mail, and send something in, it's all appreciated. Everything is appreciated, whether it be your volunteer hours, your financial contributions, leaving Stray Cat in your will, anything. We appreciate it and know this, and sleep well tonight knowing this. Your money is well used and it goes directly to programs and we really do help animals and we are making a change. Thank you so much. And wasn't I right? This is like the funnest part of the evening, right? All right, it's okay. All right. Continue on and have a great evening and thank you so much. Thank Goodbye. you. The recipient of the Stray Cat Alliance Lionheart Award have always been torchbearers. Courageous individuals who give so much of themselves in the pursuit of a better world. This year's recipient is a shining example of this. I'd like to introduce Paul Coretz, Los Angeles City Council member who will be presenting the Lionheart Award to Wallace Annenberg. Accepting on behalf of Wallace is Foundation Executive Director Cinny Kennard and new Pet Space Director Gabriel Amster. Most people know the Annenberg name. The Annenberg Foundation is among the largest foundations in the United States and one of the most impactful in the greater Los Angeles area. As animal advocates, we're fortunate that Wallace Annenberg and her family are also animal lovers, advocates, and supporters of animal welfare with their philanthropy. Annenberg Pet Space represents the latest extension of Wallace Annenberg's philanthropic work, which has long supported organizations and projects dedicated to improving the well being of people and communities in Los Angeles, surrounding regions, and throughout the world. Wallace has said, this new initiative couldn't be closer to my heart. The purpose of Annenberg Pet Space is to strengthen the bonds between us and all animals and pets, and to form innovative new policies and partnerships, to save animals' lives through adoption and education, and to help make our communities more animal friendly. Those are the very essence of why Stray Cat Alliance exists, to save animals' lives and to help make our communities more animal friendly. And so, Wallace Annenberg, you couldn't be closer to the heart of Stray Cat Alliance and the thousands of cats and kittens it saves annually, as well as the thousands of animal advocates who volunteer and support. In recognition of your advocacy for cats and other animals, for a cruelty-free world, and for a better, greater Los Angeles, we would like to honor you with the Lion Heart Award. We applaud your work to create the pet space in Playa Vista and to celebrate and promote the human-animal bond and to help people connect with companion animals. Thank you for being such a compassionate humanitarian and a champion for both humans and animals. Hello, 
My name is Gabrielle Amster and I'm the director of Wallace Annenberg Pet Space. On behalf of our dedicated team and leadership, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Stray Cat Alliance for this honor and for the work and support this organization provides to Southern California. All of us at Annenberg Pet Space are happy to support the Stray Cat Alliance and work alongside them as they advocate for the well-being, safety, and value of all cats. As we know, the cat community faces both ongoing and unique challenges. The stray and feral cat populations in Los Angeles may be high, but through the work of TNR and public education, we save lives and improve the lives of those in our own neighborhoods. By establishing the Safe at Home program, kittens have an actual chance to survive and find forever homes. At Annenberg Pet Space, we recognize how these efforts can make a world of difference. As we continue to offer adoptions and grow our own network of fosters, it's clear the experience, knowledge, and hard work shared by compassionate animal lovers in our community is what makes this all possible. We are so grateful for the engaged network of educators, activists, and fosters. The tireless efforts to improve the lives of cats and to place them in loving homes may be challenging and it may be daunting, but together we will save and change lives. Thank you all, and we look forward to our continued work together. On behalf of Wallace Annenberg and the Annenberg Foundation, I am thrilled to be here tonight to accept on Wallace's behalf the very special Straight Cat Alliance Lionheart Award. As you know, Wallace is much more than a dedicated philanthropist. She is a lover of cats and dogs and all companion animals. She believes they make our lives better. She believes they make our communities better. And she believed this long time before it was fashionable to do so. Through Wallace's giving and the Annenberg Pet Space in Playa Vista, we all strive to focus on animal welfare in the Los Angeles area and beyond. In fact, most recently, we held a day-long catarama where we focused on the education and adoption of cats. We brought in young people. They could play games and they could work around the facility, but the focus was educating on feline health and the way to take best care of your cats. So with the Stray Cat Alliance, we know that you're dedicated to education and you know the critical work that needs to be done around rescue, protection, and care of our feline friends. Each cat's life is important and worthy of human compassion and love. So I just want to say as I wrap up on Wallace's behalf, thank you so much for this distinct honor for Wallace Annenberg. And thank you, Stray Cat Alliance. All right, our event is over, but tomorrow, Stray Cat Alliance has to get right back to work. So please continue to support Stray Cat Alliance and all their incredible work throughout the year. The cats need all of you. Thank you. Bye.